That sounded like you. Oh, nice. So either it didn't get ordered because something was a mix-up, or they charged us for it and just didn't give it to us. So I remember ordering it. And it wasn't on the list of we don't have this. Right. So I'll have to get some more tomorrow. No, it's one I made myself. I'm following a grid pattern on my tablet. Hold on a second, I gotta shift some things around so I can show you. It's gonna be that one that's done.
Is Amelia still carrying on down there?
How's everybody doing? My advice while doing this is to do not wear nail polish on your pinky nail because this will take it right off. It'll grab it right off your nail. So if you rest your finger like I do, like I'm trying to stay out of the sticky line, but if your nail hits that sticky line, it's going to take your nail polish off. I learned that the hard way on a different project. Luckily, it was just it was outside the image line, so it was fine. But if it does that, it'll ruin that spot for stickiness, so you can't stick anything on it. So, yeah. Don't wear nail polish if you're going to do this. When I'm done with this, when I finish with the image, um, I'm going to go over it with an act, like a layer of resin. Well, if you want to do diamond painting and you have your, your, your nail painted, I would legitimately put on like a latex glove or something over that finger. Because it will, it will take your polish right off. Or non-latex glove, you know, whatever. Because most people are allergic to latex these days, so. Um, 
Do it. I have like 12 of them that I'm working on. Totally do it. Is my pin dead? Oh, my pin's dying. Shit. Will it connect if it's plugged in? Yes, it will. Okay, so on the next one is the glow gray, the light gray. Well, now it's this one. Yes. You can get some really small ones from Amazon. Missed 
seriously. Wait a minute. Hmm. I have miscounted somewhere. Let's see. Ah, uh, I see what I did. It's here. I added an extra one. So everything is like shifted over too far. So. There we go. Okay, make sure I got it for someone correctly. So, Oh yeah, there's tons on Amazon. That's actually where I got all of mine from was Amazon. Yeah, she brought she had it with her. She had it in her hand. She had it in her hand when I was sitting down, Steph. Did she? Yes. Okay. So I think I got this one right now. Oh. This one is wrong. There is supposed to be three there, but I think there's too many of these. There are. That's got to come out. That one has to go there. 
There we go. Okay. One, two, Talking about Zora? Damn it. Little boy. Or Mama Cat or whoever you are. Stay off the fucking paper towels. He's scratching up the paper towels. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh, this is the one that I gotta pick the one off. There we go. Okay.
Claus said sauerkraut. Okay. I'm like toasting the kielbasa right now, so instead of frying it in a pan, I'm frying it in a pan in the fryer. <laughs> You're fine, Steph. So. And then I'll uh, add the sauerkraut and bake it. You know what's ironic? You know what's ironic? What do you think? Start out with a raspberry and a orange. Mix. You can have orange juice, but you can have this. Can you bring a bunch up here for me so I can add them to my juice? What's that? I said, can you bring a bunch up here to me so I can add them to my juice? A bunch of the drinks up here so I can add them to my juice. Yes. Yes, is there any particular flavors you want? Um, well, I'm drinking tropical passion fruit, so something that'll go with that. Okay, I've got orange, I've got raspberry, I've got um, grapefruit, I think out there is some berry, like blackberry. <coughs> I would say the orange would be the best. Yeah, I was going to say orange. Oh, but raspberry is actually raspberry. I'll bring it up when I bring up your food. I got it right there. Okay. Hit it with a butter knife.
Oh, whoops. Is it supposed to line up? I was like, why is there so many? I've uh, I found some as cheap as like five dollars, five dollars, five to seven dollars. Thirteen seems to be about the average. I dropped one and I don't know where it went. There it is. Come back. So glow. It's darker. Let me mark it.
hell is she doing? Almost impossible to tell them apart. I better mark these. Yeah, it is. Hold on, I'll show you in a second. It's actually one I came up with myself. I adapted it from a knitting pattern that was originally adapted from a, from a cross-stitch pattern. And I turned it into a diamond pattern. <laughs> and I had to copy it off of TikTok because I made a time-lapse video of me coloring this. And then when I switched to tablets, I lost the original image. So. Oh, shit. Hello. Alright, what's next? Wait. How are you, doll?
so what I'm doing, um, for those just joining us, us, like, there's multiple people in here, um, is I'm, I made my own diamond painting, and, um, it's, it's, uh, the supernatural anti-possession sun, and, um, I made it look like actual flames. Give me a second. Let me finish this really quick, this white part. One all the way across. Do not let Geo eat this. Okay. Okay. You need to eat it all to keep your strength up. You haven't eaten enough lately. Gio watching me. Still streaming? Yeah. Hello, people. Thank I you. I feel like crap, people. Hope you're having a much better day. Yeah. Hopefully so. Our whole family has COVID. Oh, what I was trying to tell you earlier. Oh, you forgot the soda. Oh, it's right here. Okay. What I was telling you earlier was the there's a irony because... I'm the one that got COVID, but my mom's the nurse, and I was worried about her catching it. <laughs> well, blame your son. I Yeah. Your son's a spaz. That's all it comes down to it, is that he's four. <laughs> he's four. He's four. So, he's patient zero. Pretty much. <clears throat> I can guarantee you it's the only place that he's been besides our place or Jeff's place, and Jeff's not sick. Jason was the first one to get sick. And I probably caught it off of him like on day two. Oh, yeah. So, did Benny get sick independently or do you think he caught it from you? No, independently because we haven't been in contact. That's hilarious. I know, right? Oh, no, I think he got it from the kids. I think he did too. I don't think it was in all at the same time store because at first the kids were negative. But it showed that River's actually positive on the uh, the longer, the three-hour test. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, if River's positive on that, then I can guarantee you he picked it up from River on Friday. You know, or actually Thursday, because they're, uh, they're all together on Thursday, too, I think. Something like that. All I know is I can guarantee you he got it from the kids and not either that or they all were... Exposed at the exact same time? In a store because they can't keep their hands to themselves and are dangerous. You know how that goes. So my guess is that River was patient zero. Or Benny and River got exposed at the same time because Kitty actually gives a rat's ass. She's the one that they insisted. Yeah, she um she tests every Friday. Willingly. Like they have like an option. You can opt in the testing and she tests every Friday. Wow, that's very Test responsible of her. Test is very, very serious about masks. Yeah. Who would have thought that one was the one that would give a shit? Right? <coughs> Maybe Kitty gets it from her eldest sister. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. So what's for dinner for everybody? Mm -hmm. 
Wait a minute, I thought you said there was supposed to be bacon. I see no bacon in this. <laughs> Still counts. It's starting to look good. What kind of sandwiches y'all have? Ham, turkey, roast beef, leftovers, what? Tuna salad. What is your tuna salad recipe? I'm curious. Because I'm like super picky about mine. And I know it also varies like region to region. Some tuna salads have celery in them and I leave that out. It's gross. To me, it's gross. I mean, you know, you eat what you like, but. Mm. I make my tuna salad the way I was taught to, to make it at my uh, old job at Larry's Giant Subs. And that is mayonnaise, brown mustard, a little bit of oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, um, excuse me, and if I'm feeling a little tangy that day, I'll add like a little bit of feta cheese to it. No celery, no onions, no pickles. If I want a little spice, I'll add vinegar from pickled peppers instead of regular vinegar. Um, we use white vinegar. No. Red vinegar. Red wine vinegar. I mean, I use white vinegar because that's what we have, but that's it was made with red wine vinegar. One time we ran out of oil. <laughs> and then our, um, the boss, the owner... Cause we ran out while we were making the um the greek dressing <laughs> and uh we ran out of oil and vinegar doing that and so <laughs> the greek dressing has that's where the feta cheese comes from had um the herb mixture which was a bunch of stuff and then um feta cheese and so he put that in there one day and it went over really well at the store Excuse me. I put that in my um my egg salad too. Excuse me. Good God, that's so rude. Um. 
we made all our salads pretty much the same way. It was all those ingredients, so minus the feta cheese. The feta cheese didn't go into the egg salad. Although when I make it now, my egg salad, I do put feta cheese in it if I have it. Because I love feta cheese. I like the sharpness of it. So I need this gray for a minute. So only a couple of those. Really? No. Yeah, I just tried to jump up and grab onto the wrapping paper on the wall. She tried to climb the wrapping paper wall. And still embarrassing. So that is exactly what it sounded like. Okay. That's hilarious. But mom, that over there is not right up your butt. Because that's where she's got to be apparently. Slaw and chili, um, wait a minute. That's the same color. That is the same. No, it's not. It's slightly darker, but not my much. Oh my god, it is the same color because I've been pulling it from the wrong box. Fuck. I knew that looked too dark. Oh, I'm an idiot. <sighs> idiot. I was like, oh, I'll just trust the process. Why does it look so dark? It's because it's too dark. It's the wrong color. Literally been pulling from the... Oh my god. Okay. This is the color I need. Because I usually pull from the... Excuse me. Good god. I usually pull from the end. What? I'm getting a case of the cranky. I need to stop complaining. You want to laugh at me? Would it make you feel better to laugh at me? Cause, cause I pulled the wrong gray out and now I'm very mad about it. And I've been using the wrong gray in one spot and I've used a lot of it. So now, so now I have to pick them all out. So now I have to pick them all out and replace them with the right color. One by fucking one. Yeah, I knew I was running a fever. But I'm pulling a U because I'm actually hot instead of cold. Yep.
Well, that sounds like a you. That sounds like a you problem. Now, what ended up happening was, is because of how I grab colors yeah. from my diamond trays, yeah. I've been using the, the wrong gray. Nice. So I have to pick them out one by one and replace them. No, diamond, diamond painting. Which, of course, Nora decides to go wild and play with her toys just as you're talking to her. Of course. Because she has a not so nice female dog. There you go. She is a vagina. <laughs> Well, because shouting means excitement, apparently. Cause chop what are you what are you using what are you using what are you using oh I was so confused
calls the other cats because he wants to scrap. Come, come fight with me. I want to fight. I'm bored. <laughs> I think Pumpkin... I think Pumpkin was a junkyard cat in a previous life and he never forgot it. <laughs> or he was the owner of the junkyard who liked to scrap. Could be. He's a scrapper in many ways. Yep. Yep. Yeah, people find out I scrap and they're like, me what? Like I built a chicken coop out of baby <laughs> back in play mattresses and uh crib bumpers and uh angry bird costumes. That's what I, that is what I have. I tell you what, though, I've never met a cat confused by being a cat. And that's Pumpkin. Pumpkin always looks confused about being a cat. I have never in my life encountered that before. Yeah. It's like he went to sleep one day a person and woke up a cat and has been confused ever since. Right. Exactly. Like there was no transition. And he was probably was deaf in the other life too. He was a ginger back then, too. Yes, he was. And the guy's always chasing away the dogs. That live on his property. That live on his property. He's always chasing around the junkyard dogs and cats. He's always, like, chasing them off. <clears throat> that was good. Good. Did you ever have that before? Came off, though, with uh, Velcro? It's um, it's Polish, and it's something, um, you know, my family used to do a lot of Polish stuff, even though they were Swedish. Uh, Polish and Russian stuff they did a lot of. And, and, mid and Midwest crap. This is actually a really popular dish in the South. In where? The South. Oh, Mimi says she's never had it. Yeah, Kaboss and sauerkraut is actually a Polish dish. Well, that was a... Um, I don't know about that, but I mean, I mean, my dad and his family grew up on it and they lived in Tennessee. Yeah. So it's got to be. Well, my guess is it's very not Italian. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. You know how they used to make sauerkraut, right? What's that? I said, you know how they used to make sauerkraut, right? Yeah, they shred the cabbage and put it in a urn and bury it for like a year or something insane. 
And then they'd cross their fingers that it didn't go bad. Yeah. Fermented? Fermented. Instead of sour. Yeah. You know, that's how they used to make <coughs> sauerkraut back in the day. They shred the cabbage. They put it into, like, a clay pot. And they bury it for, like, a year. Just bury it and then cross their fingers that it fermented instead of went bad. I mean, they'd add, they'd add like, salt and vinegar and stuff, but still. What's that? They added salt and vinegar to it, but still. Yeah, they, um, they actually added Yeah. I mean, everything back then kind of had a starter that was passed on from dish to dish to generation to generation. Everything had a starter. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because if you didn't... I would absolutely love to get a hold of some. Because if you didn't pickle it, you didn't eat. <coughs> Is how that went. We should actually ask around the free groups. Mm-hmm. Find out if we could get some starter, like the friendship bread. And also the uh, um, the sourdough bread starter. You can make your own sourdough starter. You can, but it's way better if it's like ancient as fuck. Yeah. We need to talk to some homesteaders about it. Some real homesteaders and not those angry people? <coughs> I must say, but not the people we talked to online that are dicks. Yeah, I left that group. That was toxic as hell. Yeah. No, I left it on, on, um, the other one. The other one? Yeah. I don't blame you. I stopped reading them and I'm just like, eh. I deleted, I deleted the post. I didn't read it past how they explain those people that told me it sounded like they wanted to go to prison instead. I uh, done. I left the comment that it's sad that a, a group titled Homesteaders has such toxicity in it. I hope you have the day you deserve. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? They don't even deserve that. I'm just going to leave. That's the bottom color. What color do I need? Change. You're essentially, you literally just repeated what I said with different words. But in a positive way. You said the day you deserve basically means if you're a shitty person, you have a shitty day. And if you're a good person, you have a good one. Well, I hope that they have something that's going to turn them into a good person. If they have some, like, epiphany experience and are turned into a better person. I mean, remember when I was working with shit? <laughs> Ow. What happened? I sneezed. Oh, fruit fly or pain? Pain. <clears throat> Every time I sneeze, it compresses my rib cage very quickly and a lot. Oh, ouch. And so my bruised, like, cartilage rib area. Oh, God. If you start having lung problems, that's going to suck extra bad. Yeah, because they're going to have to lay me on my stomach. So it's like, oh, well, we broke your ribs while you were in a COVID coma. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, Dr. Ryan said that that usually takes about six weeks to heal because it actually, the body treats it like a break. <laughs> what, what happened is, is where cartilage meets bone in my rib cage, yeah. there was a separation. The crack was a separation and it popped immediately back into place. Yeah, that's what happened to my wrist. And so, yeah, so I technically broke at least three of my ribs, technically. Nice. Or so your body, you dislocated them and your body treats it as a break. Yeah. Because it's not supposed to dislocate. Right. Other joints do just in order not to break them. Ribs don't dislocate. No, they don't. Oh, but. I love Dr. Death, the old guy at the ER, who 
told me my nose wasn't broken, and I'm like, I can turn that nose sideways. So I move the tip of my nose and touch my cheek. Yeah, so before I, I told Dr. Ryan that, you know, you know, I told him, I was like, oh, I think I have hypermobility. And he's like, well, you know, the condition that goes with that. And I was like, I don't have EDS. That's not what I'm telling you. Because you can have hypermobility without having EDS. As a matter of fact, though, several people with EDS are telling me that I have a mild form of it. Huh. Well, I want to be able to talk to some people about, like, what to talk to my doctor about. I keep not making the appointment for the, uh, <coughs> for getting the, elect uh, el not electrolysis, for getting the, uh, the nerve conduction test. Oh, Jessica says you have to do it by the moon or it will go bad. Because she, she commented while we were talking about the sauerkraut. Oh, yeah. So she says you have to do it by the moon or it'll go bad. Huh. Is what she said. Get fucking... Well, that also makes sense. With the pull of the tide, even if it's not... Even if it has nothing to do with magic moon stuff. The pull of the tide and all that stuff, the whole earth fucking changes. Well, not only that, but you track the moon, you can count how many days. Right. Count them on a calendar, but... <laughs> when the, what she's saying. It's, it's when they were fermenting things in clay jars, they didn't have calendar okay. stuff. Well, I thought she meant, like, now, but yeah. No. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> that was awesome, actually. I, I love how history has said that man created calendars. What man needs a calendar? <laughs> right? Unless he is trans. What man needed a calendar back then? <laughs> right? Seriously. Women invented calendars, not men. There is actually historical proof now. There is actual historical proof now that women created the first calendars. Yeah. It was in some indigenous groups from way back a bazillion years ago. Well, I know that everybody said, oh, Julius Caesar is the one who came up with modern calendars. No, he added to it. To yeah, he, he, and he added to it. He didn't invent the calendar. He just added names and changed month dates, month, month names. Damn. All them universes, y'all. Boober flakes. These are my boober flakes. Come here, my pretty girl. Hi. See, my sweet girl. You are. I want to show you off. See, look. See? I'm showing you off. Look. Boy, I'm glad you sucked that thing down. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you sucked that yeah, down. Yeah, I'm a good girl. Track of how much we're drinking Look how pretty you are. <coughs> yeah, you want to do it? Okay. Hold oh, on. I'm doing it. You're stuck. There you go. You're okay. Laura! You're such a butt. <laughs> yep. 
If you look a dog in the mouth, like, by the edge of their face, it confuses them. If you, as a person, lick your dog on the face, yeah. n near their mouth, it confuses them. Because you're dominant. Yeah. I mean, I would never suggest doing that, but... Yeah, dogs do that as a display of uh, familiar familiarity. Not that I would ever suggest looking at dog's mouth, but someone at some point has, and that's how they figured that out. So, I mean, I don't judge people, but it does get into a whole load of territory that I just don't want to touch. <laughs> Meow. What, Matilda? Okay, so. Excuse me, my goodness. Okay, so dark red. I'm gonna pull this back. The neck, wait, I forgot to do something. What was it? Really? Ow. Stab my own titty. Okay. What do I need? No, wait. I need dark orange first. That's four of those. Cheers, Geo, out there. Do you need me to call it?
Excuse me. Okay, so hold on. So dark orange, orange. Okay, hold on. No, it's not right here. again. Okay. Seven, three times in a row. I got it. That's also seven. Okay. Goes there. Okay. So I'll just take the one there. And that one there. I'm like, what am I what's missing? <clears throat> I just can't count apparently. Four. That 
one is also four. It goes here. Okay. Now. For the yellow, I did... Glow yellow. again until I'm done. Okay, so I need glow yellow and that is one, two, three, four, six? No. Okay. Sorry, I I got things got a little discombobulated, so I had to draw my grid lines because sometimes the the colors are a little blurred in this image because it's a screenshot of a video still so that's what I'm doing out of sight sorry because I was having issues counting so I got yep four and four yep okay so the next color I can pour out because it's a little more it's not much more, but it's a little more than what I want to tweeze, so don't even need that much, but it's fine. Uh-oh, I've lost my other tool. Where'd it go? Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> there it is. Jesus Lord. Give me some strength. Good God.
Okay, that's what it was. Okay. <sighs> regular. Oh. There you go. Barking at the front door isn't going to make him move any quicker, dog. You're not even in the front yard. Excuse me. One, two. Zora, don't start. He's only barking because he wants in, and I can't get down there, so he's got to wait for Mama. Zora. Zora. She's barking because Gio's barking.
might have pulled too many grays out. Okay, so I know that's the lightest color. That's the lightest gray that I used. That's that. <clears throat> I know I had four grays plus black. So why do I have five grays here? I think I pulled too many black, too many grays out. Or I think I pulled one of the grays out and I was like, oh, I'll just use that glow in the dark one. Yes, I have a glow in the dark gray. <laughs> Figure this out. So that's the dark gray with the black. Okay. That's the glow in the dark. And that's the super light one. I think that's what I did. I think those are the same color almost. Like oh, it's slightly lighter. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I did. I was like, ah, oh, it's too many grays. Okay. So that that's all right. So I think what I'll do. Stick that at the end so I don't lose it. So I don't need to. Okay, so we have black and dark gray. Oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> I don't. Hi. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this out and make sure I'm doing it right. Because it's much more difficult when it's your own pattern. You think that would make it easier, but it's not because it. You please just suck. Oh, Not all pointy tweezers were made the same. <coughs> Freaking cat hair, man. And like other fuzzies and lint. Okay. So. You th I mean, you think it'd be easier, but it's not. Because, you know, you're familiar with your own pattern, but counting it and making sure that it's right. So I'll hold it upside down so you can see, but that's it so far. That's that bottom edge right there. So that's what this is so far. That light gray is almost the same sh like shade as the grid paper. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Do, do, do. Where is it? Okay. So. Let me draw more grid. Mm. 
Okay, so. Sorry, I'm not more entertaining. I just, I wanted to go live while I did this for a little bit of company. And I'm not playing any music because I'm listening to the music that my sister's playing downstairs. And I don't want to play anything that's going to clash with it. I don't even know if I, I don't even know if y'all can even hear it. Oh, cool. Are you gonna post that on a on TikTok? I got a pimple on my nose. I can feel it. It hurts. Cause I saw your. Is that you? I saw your grid. Um. Your little grid animal blankets. Those were so cute. I think that was yours, right? That was yours? People's, people's stuff is rolling together in my head now. So, yeah, those are really cute. Is each one of the pixels a um like a tiny granny square like a single row granny square is that what they are i couldn't tell my brain tried to guess but i wasn't sure if that was how it was oh shit I want to make a pixel blanket one day. I actually want to do um, a companion cube um, from the Portal games for a pixel blanket because I think it'd be easy. I actually have a pattern for that. I just need the yarn, but it'd take a lot of yarn, so you work it in the square. Is there some over there? I'll have to look at it again. I bet you I could figure out how to do it without instructions. <laughs> or I'd figure out my own way how to do it. I don't know how to do corner to corner. Uh, at least in crochet. I've never done it. Well, that's a misnomer. I've never done it before, so like technically I don't know how to do it. But like, I could easily figure it out. I can't do sweaters by pattern though. Excuse me, that takes a lot of math I'm incapable of doing. What is going on down there? Please tell me that is a person and not a dog trying to break through the fence. Steph? Oh, okay. Yeah, pigs are both by me. I'm like, hey, do they see crap tree bowl? Oh, that's 
I was like, either that's a pig, a person, or a cat. I mean, but the way it sounded, because I heard the um, the baby gate rattle. Some of the, uh, some of the boxes by your staircase. Mm-hmm. Have holes in them to get stuff out. And the cat's actually playing them. <laughs> That's funny. I know Tabitha likes going in there. I know Matilda does too. Yeah. She's not on her box, so yeah, I guess you're right. right. It's funny because she now sleeps on um, the box that I have um, Connor's stuff still in. So, it's been four years. I made the effort to contact them multiple times. Since the first contact, I know that my number has been blocked at least by her or him doing it for her because he found out that I texted her. So, I'm going to go through that box and I'm going to throw away everything that we can't use or can't be sold. Because I'm, at this point, I have the feeling that he's already written it all off and does not actually care. I tried. Do you hear me? Sorry to me? Yes, you. No, I can't hear you. Sorry, I got, I'm writing Benny. Apparently, Nick called Benny freaking out. Sorry, Benny. Okay, why? Cause she won't get tested. Oh, yeah, that sounds like I could I could figure it out really easily. I mean, I wrote my own pattern for something I didn't even that I needed that I didn't have, so I'm sure I could figure it out. Excuse me. Yeah, I would mail that stuff to him. 
but it would cost lots of money and if he doesn't even if I do um, pay on arrival if he rejects it they will charge me to mail it back and I've tried contacting him I've tried contacting his girlfriend who we used to share as a mutual friend to try and you know work out another way to get it there without them coming here because nobody wants them here on our property with how he did me I, you know I don't blame him I don't want him here either so seeing him would trigger me big time he caused me to have an eating disorder um so it sat in my space in this house for three years and we've been broken up for four almost for four So I think it's time for me to empty the contents of that box and get rid of what I can't use because it's taken up unnecessary space. It's like if you don't care, then I won't care. Because he obviously doesn't. Because, you know, I wanted to be the bigger person. I'm not that kind of person that's just going to throw so much shit away. You know what I mean? But I've tried. I've tried contacting him. I've tried contacting her. I contacted her for their address. And then when I switched phones, I lost it. And I tried to contact her again. And messages went undelivered, which means I got blocked. So. And some of that stuff was like things from his parents that are all, you know, he's an orphan, so, you know, I wanted to get that to him so that he wouldn't lose it. Thank you for the follow. But, obviously he's um, written it all off because I can't get a hold of him. And I don't want to hold on to the box anymore. I already have too much shit in my room as it is that isn't mine, so... I'll come back on screen in a second. So, I can't, it's just like our relationship. I can't care for the both of us. So if he doesn't care, then I'm not going to waste my time doing it either. You know, I cared for long enough is what I'm saying. Can you see what this is from there? Because of the angle? I'm remarking grid lines, in case you're wondering. He, oh, oh no. What did I do? Oh no. Fuck. 
I hit the cancel button. God damn it. All of that work. All of that work. Fuck. <sighs> I have a mic right now. <laughs> I hit the cancel button. Okay, whatever. That's okay. I'm not that far along on the, this, so I'll be able to figure out what I mark, what I've done already. So that's okay. It's okay. I need to focus on grid lines anyway, so it's not a big deal. Just. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> But yeah, he really needed therapy because he was developing a really bad case of apathy for everything. For chores, his job, our relationship, me. He didn't even notice that I dropped 100 pounds in like three months. And trust me, when you're as short as I am and as big as I was, losing that much weight that fast... Is not something you don't notice. Actually, it was probably more like 150 pounds. For the first time in my life, I was easily losing weight. You know why? Because I was fucking starving myself. Literally starving myself. Some days I was surviving on Gatorade and sugar. <clears throat> Eating a single, single small can of... Yeah, there is, but it's canceled, so it went back to the uh, other edit screen, because this is the photo edit option. So I couldn't, because it wasn't saved. Because once it's saved, it can't can't be altered um, as freely. But it's okay. So yeah, you know, if he doesn't care then I'm not going to waste my time because I cared for long enough. Like I said, I've already tried contacting him. I did everything that I could and I've been blocked. So, and I wasn't even trying to start anything. It was just literally, hey, I still, we saved your stuff. I insisted on it. How can I get it back to you? Literally, that's all it was. It's not even, hey, let's meet up and have a conversation. I don't want to talk to him. I have nothing to say. It would literally just be me silently handing him, you know, what I have and then leaving. I wouldn't even talk to him. But whatever. So, if he's written it off, then I'm going to get rid of it. I no longer have whatever address I was given because it did for some reason it didn't even though we saved saved stuff for some reason um, I lost a lot of contacts even though they were saved in the cloud And the only reason why I knew her number is because it used to be my number. He didn't even get a different phone line when we broke up. When he took the phone back, he gave it to her after I wiped it. So yeah. <coughs>
yeah, no, um, he had asked for it back, and I was like, okay, sure, fine, whatever. Um, it's just, the reasons he gave me for our breakup were very cowardly. One of the reasons we broke up was because I was quote unquote too disabled, but then he turns around and, and dates a girl who has brain damage from a car accident from when she was little and has seizures and will be just as disabled as me in the next few years. Like she's not even supposed to be driving and she does and she's not supposed to. It's a danger. It's a hazard. Um, excuse me. And all she did was complain about how in her previous relationship, her boyfriend stopped helping out, stopped helping to clean. And guess what? He never cleaned unless I told him to. Like, hey, can you help me with this? Can you do that? So, once again, he gets into a relationship with someone who is not compatible with him. But, you know, they deserve each other because we were in a polyamorous relationship and he cheated on me with her was actively cheating on me with her. I have no proof that they made the bed together, but if you told me, like if you came to me and you said, I have definitive proof that they, they made the bed, I would not be surprised. Because there was a lot of things that he lied to me about. And, um, so I'm sure they were doing a lot of things that he was not mentioning, but whatever. <clears throat> she, you know, if they're still together, she can learn real fast. She learned real quick that everything I ever bitched about was not an exaggeration. If she hasn't already started to see it. Do I want their relationship to fail? No. I hope, I legitimately hope he's much better with her than he was with me. But they fucking deserve each other. So, whatever. He had even his closest friends fooled that he was a good person. So, had them convinced that I was the one who was the problem. Because of course, abusers groom everyone around them, not just their victims. And it was abuse. He made me feel like I had to disappear. Like I didn't deserve to take up space at all. <clears throat> oh, he bought her a kitten collar and tried to say that she didn't want her current boyfriend at the time to know that she bought it and so she used my boyfriend at the time's paypal to get it and like well that could 100 percent be true why would she need a kit why would she she wasn't a self-collar person it was his collar i can guarantee you he actually bought that for her but because i tried to give him the benefit of the doubt because that was early on before I started getting the bad feeling that he was cheating so I tried to write it off because I knew that she was into that stuff and her boyfriend wasn't so I tried to write it off that okay maybe she wears it when he's not around so she can feel that connection to that kind of stuff but like looking back 
and with how um I'm pretty sure because she still tried to be my friend and then suddenly lost contact so I'm guessing you know he tried to <laughs> be a dynamic person and control her because he doesn't want us talking me and her not that I want to be her friend not really you know because she was but I really wouldn't put it past him to have convinced her that I said it was okay for them to do whatever together like I would not like I don't want to paint her as a victim in this too but like she could have been because she was very very naive very gullible so he really i i i on the one hand it's like i want to be mad at her because she was compliant and cheating but on the other hand he very well could have convinced her that i said it was okay for them to be doing what they were doing but that they had to be sneaky about it because i knew she was still in a relationship and i just didn't want to see it kind of thing But that doesn't absolve her. Like, I'm still mad about it. Whatever. Even if that were true. <laughs> so. Did it pour out? Or is it charged? I thought it turned to color after it was charged. Hold on a second. I was like, wait a minute. Oh shit, I dropped it. That's why I pulled out. It got stuck and then I pulled it and it jerked it out of the charger. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Which one is it in? Oh my god, would you fucking stop? Jesus. <sighs> it was like, I, I, I mean, I even told him, I was like, if she breaks up with her boyfriend, we can all be together or you can just date her whichever whatever she wants feels comfortable with but no they couldn't wait it's like we could have literally we could have planned you know to to all live together she could have Um, you know, she could have set some money aside and helped us get our own apartment with her. Um, and either the three of us could have dated or, you know, him and her could have just been boyfriend and girlfriend and I could have still been with him. But no, they had to turn it into this whole thing. And, you know, whatever, <laughs> you know, because we were polyamorous. They're like, how the fuck do you cheat while polyamorous? The audacity. Like, come on now. Oh, God, I still ended up breaking that nail. Damn. That sucks. Now it's 
a snaggle nail. Now I gotta file it down so it doesn't snag on shit. But that just proved to me that neither one of them were mature enough to be in a relationship with me. Period. So they did me a favor. It sucked. A lot. And his reasons were fucking ableist and gaslighting, but and cowardly, but whatever. Us breaking up gave me the opportunity to be a mom. Jason isn't biologically mine, and I'm not legally, like, able to make decisions for him, technically, but I'm still his parent. I co-parent with my sister. If I had stayed with him, I never would have been a parent, period, because he wanted to wait until he was older, and there's already a 10-year ten, a ten gap between us. Everybody assumed because of that 10 year gap that I'm the one that had all the power. No, I was just older, I was disabled, didn't have a job, can't work, cannot live alone, reliant on others. Poor oh, baby. Didn't even wait to see if stuff and then if I had somewhere to go if my sister could pick me up and if they had room for me didn't even wait just came home packed his shit and left didn't even tell the people we were living with that he was breaking up with me he left me to do it And then have the audacity, the audacity to use my Netflix that my sister is paying for. Oh, he waited a couple months so it wouldn't be obvious. But he was watching a show that I don't watch. And suddenly it appeared in my, oh, continue watching list. Hmm. Okay. Guess what? I just changed the password on your stupid ass. <laughs> And he was in the middle of the season, too, so. <laughs> oh, well. Because if he wasn't going to pay for my HBO still, why would he have access to my Netflix? So, <laughs> I did end all of our streaming stuff because he was the one paying for it. If he wanted to use our Netflix, get your own fucking Netflix. <laughs> Oh, I changed the password on everything. He's very, very lucky I'm a nice person because I actually went through and deleted all of his password information from my Google. And no, I didn't use it, but I did find that he had been visiting cam girls and other porn sites that I don't visit, so. It's like, wow. Okay. But he was secretive about it. You know what I mean? Like, I watch porn. He knew that about me. Like, I don't hide it. I wasn't blatant about it. But he hid this. Like, he was ashamed of it. 
I'm like, why do I care? Because it wasn't a stipulation of our relationship that oh, you don't do that or it's cheating. Because for some relationships it is. But it wasn't for me, so why hide it? It was the deceit, the dishonesty that got me. I was like, really? <laughs> oh, I don't watch that. I don't really need to. Uh-huh. And there were a lot of them. I mean, I'm a... Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not judging because he watched it. I'm a fucking spicy account. I don't give a shit. Um... Just be honest. That's it. Be honest. Why lie about something like that? It's not like I was gonna judge him for it. I don't care. I've even shown him stuff I watch. Like here, look at this. Ha ha. Look. Mm, mm, whatever. And I kept a lot of my yums to myself because I'm pretty sure he would have yucked a lot of them. But I didn't lie about it. I'm like, oh yeah, I've got some stuff, but something you'd be interested in. Because I knew he wouldn't be. And that's fine. I didn't resent him for it. And I didn't hide it out of shame. I hid it out of consideration. And yeah, he could technically have used that as an excuse. Um, but there's a difference between not sharing because I know you don't want to hear it. And being deceitful because you're ashamed of me finding out. Like, that's different. And then like flat out telling me, oh, I don't, I don't do that. I don't watch that. I don't need to watch that. Okay. And that could have been true. For some people it is. Some people don't like that stuff. They don't want to do it because they don't want to contribute to, you know, the problematic side of it, which is fine. And that's great. Just don't lie about, why would you, he lied about so many things. Stupid things. Like one time I asked him, hey, is this going to send a text to your phone in the middle of the night if I pay the Verizon bill? He flat out looked me in the face and said no. When he, because I didn't want to disturb his sleep because he listened to music while he slept through YouTube. Which would have interrupted, the text would have interrupted his music. Because when you put headphones in, even when it's on silent, you hear the alerts. Because we, you know. When he paid it after we broke up, a text came through. Your bill has been paid, blah, 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 whatever the text message, text message says. So it's like, why would you lie about something like that? I asked out of consideration because I didn't want to just, you know, have this blaring alert going off in your ear while you're trying to sleep in the middle of the night. Because, you know, I would, that was the first thing that I paid. It's the first thing I paid once enough money had accumulated every month. Um, so that we knew how much money for the rest of the month to budget. So we wouldn't look in there and go, oh, we have so much money. Oh, yeah, the fucking phone bills do. You know, it was just smart. So I paid it. Sometimes I paid it in the middle of the night. Hey. Hey. When you're done, come here. Jeremy? Steph? Steph? What? When you're done, come here, please. Do you have other shoes you can wear for now? Uh, sort of. My old ones that have holes in them. Why? 
Because I'm about to give you some glue, but you can't wear the shoe while it's setting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I can, I can take them off for the day. Overnight. We'll have to order some on Sierra.com or Sierra app. Yeah, but this will work in the meantime. What are your shoes made of? Rubber and what? Uh, leather. Uh, rubber against rubber. Where it, uh, fell off. Okay, then it'll, then this glue will work. Yep. It's a rubber sole that the leather is dipped in rubber. Gotcha. Because if it was leather, it wouldn't... Because if it was leather on rubber and not lined, it would uh, it wouldn't work. Because it says for non-porous services only. Either he fell asleep or he just doesn't care. Did you find you? Nope. Hold him out on it, but not me. <laughs> Did you notice me calling him out on his parenting and he didn't comment on that either? I said, you notice me calling him out on his parenting and he didn't comment on that either? Oh, yeah. Probably didn't think it was about him. I can guarantee you he assumed it was just a general sweeping statement. Yeah, honestly, there's no point. It's because child number one is so... I'm going to go home and run to mommy and I'm no longer going to be here because I don't want to be around. So whenever you use that... <coughs> yep. You have to dampen both surfaces. So get like a sponge or a washcloth or something. Doesn't have to be soaking, just... Dampen it. Okay. Weird. Yeah, I don't know why either. They said don't add water to the, the glue bottle because I guess it has something to do with how it cures it. It's weird. Yeah. How long does that sit? Uh, it has to be clamped together for two hours and it cures after 24. Okay. That's fine. It'll be together for like, I don't know, 12 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, no flattering, right? I'm sorry. Zazo. Honey bunny. Baby girl. Beautiful face. My naked queen. <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't say that. I mean, she's hairless, so I call him naked. <laughs> she's got no clothes. Subkins. Do you want your beacons? Come here. Come here. Come here, Zaza. I'm not calling you. Don't you come up here. Come on. I will cover you up. This persnickety. There you go. But you gotta get in the spot first. There you go. See, told you. It's like she didn't believe me. She said, oh, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 
doing that because I had, are you kidding me? There's a fucking fruit fly in my bottle. What the fuck? No, come back. How the fuck did that get in there? It literally had to have landed like right as I'm. Taking it for a drink or something. Had it open. Are you kidding me right now? Yes, I'm going to drink this. I don't care. But that's annoying. Like what the fuck? Get your own shit. Oh, I wonder if it landed on the lid when I was pouring soda into it. She has an appointment tomorrow? It's green. But yeah, so that was, I guess that was my story time. Stop. For the love of God. Or whatever.
You got any questions for me? I'll gladly answer them. And don't be lewd. For anybody who's seeing this that doesn't know me. If not, that's fine too. I'm redrawing grid lines so I can see them a little better. And yes, this is something I drew myself. I made this. I did not steal it, so... Mimi's phone ringing? 